Well, hello, Kingsman. Welcome back to the Napoleonic Battlefield. Today, we have a 4v4. Uh, this is one of the HB maps, which honestly, in my opinion, uh, my favorite maps of all time when it comes to NTW3. They put a lot of work into all these historical maps. This is the... So I did my research on the name of this map. Um, I either had a dating website for Polish peoples or the pronunciation, and uh, the pronunciation I'm going to go with the only one I could find was Gorzice. Um, it was a, a battle fought 1809 um, in the war, the Fifth Coalition, uh, the Napoleonic Fifth Coalition War, uh, between Austria and Poland. Now, this was a kind of, I, I think it actually ended up being a huge waste of Austria's time. They did get to take Warsaw, but Poland kind of like doing what Russia did, kind of withdrew from Warsaw, let Austria take it, and then wasted their time, and ended up obviously being on the winning side of France, Poland did, which uh, let them take advantage of uh, getting some land, I do believe, from Austria. They didn't, I don't think they got a ton, but they, it was it was basically Poland and Saxony, actually. Or, no, was, yeah, Saxony against Austria. Now, of course, they are not playing historical battles today. This is not going to be a uh, historical battle. Obviously, you see this Russia here. I think there's some England, some Portugal, Spain, mixtures of troops. And obviously, there's France here, which historically, they were not there. Poland is here, so obviously, there's some historical accuracy. Um, still a very awesome map. It looks very nice. Um, this battle was fought in April 19th, and uh, like I said, resulted this battle resulted in a victory for Austria. But like I said, it, at what cost? You know, they still ended up losing, as with every coalition except the last one. Um, but we do have three French, one Polish army, the Imperial Guard marching across this bridge. It literally is the only place for two of these armies to deploy to the side to get across. And unfortunately, it is buggy. Warning for if you don't want to play this map, artillery will die on this bridge. So don't send your artillery over the bridge. Don't bring artillery if you're going to be on this side of the river. Hopefully they'll fix that. Um, but yeah, there is a France 11-pointer. Um, two 11-point Francis, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, a France... Another France 11-pointer. A nine-point Italy, France, and then, of course, Poland is a seven-pointer. Um, like I said, they are going to be going up against... It's like a UK, Portugal, Spanish is one of them. You have Russia. You also have um, a Austria, Russia. And, oh, my apologies. So it's a Portugal, UK, and a Spanish, UK. So you two, two UK armies mixture. I love the mixture of armies. It brings so much more that you can bring... The theaters of war part of this fight is really, really good. Even um, even Poland, you can see it's a mixture of like Rheinbund in Poland. So it's really actually very cool. But anyway, this French player, France Italy, uh, has formed up around this LOC, taking LOC, actually a very strong position for them. Um, they have artillery set up, they have 12 pounders, they have an excellent place for their four pounders sitting right next to the river, a small area that they can easily defend with some line infantry on both sides. Um, and they have a lot of cap. Of course, there are some Imperial-style armies. They have Ledoux um, that they are bringing, as well as a lot of Viltigers, um, Chessers, and there's the General, and then, like I said, the Grenadier Chabal, which are going to take a very long time to get across. Look at that. The first two the officers going first, and then all the men are going to follow in a single file line. Ledoux is going to be very late to this battle, unfortunately. They have to take it very slow. Their horses are so powerful. They would break the bridge. No, I'm just kidding. Um, a lot of lancers over here. We have the Ulani. We have uh, more cavalry. Let's see, some dragoons. And uh, some heavies. We have the small elite. Small but elite heavies. Immortals who are defending this artillery piece that should be limbering up. These guys look like Hussars. This is the artillery piece of the Imperial Army, but they look like they're dressed like Hussars. It's very interesting. Um, but not a lot happening at the moment. Oh, we do have a cab charge. We do have some, looks like some Ulani going to take on the heavies. And they will, go to, they will get the charge bonus, guys. Um, this looks very cool. This reminds me where I live. We have what's called levees, which is when the water f floods. It'll be caught in a levee versus flood flooding the houses. Um, it's, so it's like they got like a ditch levee of sorts, like almost like a dry riverbed. 
um, kind of along here like a marsh, I would say, spanning around here. Unfortunately, France wasn't able to get up to this next hill because they could use that ditch to really defend. France just kind of hung back, waited for the reinforcements. But you can see Poland is going to be taking over this right flank. Uh, France, Italy in the center, and the elite armies, the Russia, Russia center, I guess you call it. I don't know if there's an Alemain are going to be on the left flank together. Now, there do have two, two Grenadier Cheval in this field. All men oh are running, sir. Gosh, that is just so potent. Um, we do have some Polish Hussars that charged out. Looks like artillery may have focused these Hussars down. And, uh, yeah, Russia seems very contented for now to hold their line of infantry in the center. We did see on the Battle of Borodino how Russia did so well, beat back the French. Um, I think the last replay we did yesterday, the French won. So we will see. It's been definitely a lot more uh, balanced when it comes to who wins. You know, it's not always a fret Imperial win um, nowadays. Now, this could be an Imperial win. We will see. They are on the defensive. Um, I personally, I, I, I used to love being on the defensive all the time. Um, I have found that the advantage is to the attackers usually unless unless you have a strong defensive position and even then if you have a strong defensive position you want a position where you can attack from and i suspect this left side may be the attacking arm of france they have a lot of calves sitting out here now of course there is uk spain with russia austria on this side and then the russia with portugal uk and we can see some uh uk troops already making their appearance Flying the Spanish banner. We also have some cavalry pushing up. Uh, see, they charged too soon. The Hussars got the uniforms reworked for the UK and they look amazing. But these guys wisely are gonna fall back. Uh, that's definitely not something you want. You uh, face a whole line of infantry as well as some uh, Hussars. I mean, these chasseurs would have shot them in to pieces. And uh, so they're going to get out of there. We have still the UK. I'm going to say Portugal over here. Oh, do we have some uh, cannons getting charged? So Poland may be sending over their lancers. Oh, they have a lot of lancers here. They may be trying to push them over. This is a huge unit. They're probably going to be getting hit a lot by artillery. Um, oh, yeah, we do have uh, some Polish Azars charging down some Gasaris. Um, but Russia seems to be doing all right. But we do have the Lancers possibly making a move. There is some artillery. Oh, no. That is bad. That is going to cause a shock. Look how many men they killed. But they are probably going to charge in here, try to drive out the uh, Russian guns. The Gasari is once more going to meet them. Um, I don't think Russia's going to make it far. All men are running, I mean, sorry, I don't think Poland's going to make it very far. Yeah, they, they, they broke. They have 96 men left, hopefully. Uh, Russia probably is going to try shooting them. Maybe make sure they don't come back. But France is helping assault this Russian position. Um, you see Russia wisely got all their artillery out of there. I'm not, I don't know why they aren't, weren't shooting. They could have taken out so many of those Polish Lancers, they may come back. Uh, they did form a square. We even have some uh, some Dragoons that came out to try to force back the Imperials. So, it was unsuccessful. They were unable to rout the Russian artillery position. Over here, we do see some Portuguese and UK line infantry who are pushing up to uh, take on the French right flank. Um, this LOC is going to be very tough for the uh, collision to take. They have some excellent elite troops in here. They have their Grenadiers of the line. Um, going to be very, very difficult. A daunting task even for Highlanders. <laughs> so, yeah. So far, a little, only a little bit of the coalition is coming out of the woodwork so far. Um, just the right flank and kind of looks like what's going to be the center of the coalition, which is Russia. You still haven't even seen the far left flank. Now, the advantage the coalition is going to have is they probably will have way more troops 
than the French do. Um, France, for the most part, even Ledu got across, yay. Uh, most of the French, this is two French armies in this left flank here, and that's a very small, they're very elite, but very small army. If the artillery for the coalition can focus down this line, they can defeat them before the other two armies even get over here, because you see Russia, Austria, and France, or not France, UK, uh, Spain haven't even showed up yet, and already the forces seem pretty well matched. And that artillery for Russia is just going to start hurting, hurting this Imperial Guard. Thankfully, there's a little bit of a high rose, high a race road here, and they can take shelter in the ditch um, to save their elites. Because, man, they got some really good infantry here. Like, they got some really good infantry. Um, musket bug going to be against them. Doesn't mean they can't win. I love the, the, the Italian style... Grenadiers, the green and red. Looks so fancy. All these guys, the red and blue, it's just such a good color combination. Um, France is actually getting a little more aggressive here with their chasseurs. They have three of them. I don't know why they're advancing. They should let Poland advance and they should put the chasseurs on the flank. Plus, the UK shouldn't be afraid to stand in a line fight. UK does really well, guys. They have some excellent reloading. They can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these chasseurs, I would say. It's 3v, and they're larger too. The units are way larger. So I think they would do very well. Um, don't be afraid to engage. And now Poland is going to push up. Let's see what they got here. These are Russians. Some Russians on the uh, French side here. Some Peters of War will kind of bring that yeah, Kiev Grenadiers. Kind of makes it very interesting, doesn't it? Do we have more? Westfallen. This is such a good mixture of troops here. Westfallen uh, light infantry as well. My goodness. Just so much. This would be a little confusing to see. I mean, you have Russians in the French army. I feel like they should have a different... They should have a different colored uniform. That'd be so confusing. Oh yeah, they're going to exchange fire here, surprisingly. Maybe it's the art Oh yeah, the artillery is going to even the odds in the French favor here. Uh, and this is how you defeat a UK uh, force. Artillery. Oh, this is a meaty, heavy. Oh my gosh. This will help the French win. Um, that artillery... That 12 pounder. Now we do have some uh, Portuguese firing as well. Looks like they have a six pounder. Gonna try to maybe counter battery. Um, but now that, that things are kind of heating up on this side, let us see what's happening over here. Russia is actually advancing, possibly. They have a lot of artilleries. I don't know why they're trying to advance here. But they can sit back and wait for the ultimate flank, which I'm assuming is happening right here. Yep. And we have some horse artillery. So this is not how you should really use horse artillery, unless you don't have cav advantage. You should be shifting around. They're fast moving. You want to, you like slap them on the flank, start firing, and then move them again. You know, move them everywhere. Horse artillery is so mobile. It's beautiful. Um, once I was taught how to use horse artillery, I've never gone back. Horse artillery is just the, the joy of NTW3. Being able to be mobile with artillery. So fast moving. So France is going to engage in this fight. I, this seems very even, as France has some very good quality um, facing off against uh, the UK. And very even. However, the artillery, like I said, guys, that could even the odds. You can see they're focusing down this one UK line infantry, probably a light infantry. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Where's the general? But... Poland is starting to help push here. Oh, we do have some cavalry charging in. These guys can form square right here. Uh, that was the wrong unit. But now they know which can and which can't form square. Obviously, these troops would have formed square, but they lost their hussars very early on. And France managed to stop that incursion, and so the UK once more going to fall back. And, well, that's the thing now. 
Poland is going to sit right in front of these 12 pounders. It's going to be very difficult for these 12 pounders to actually get some fire on um, the UK. And the UK are going to be able to finally not have artillery firing. They're probably going to do well in a fight. Um, they are definitely using this road. France is going to use this road to kind of push and get a flank. Um, the UK do have a ditch they can fall back to on the other side and make it very difficult for France to pursue them. But they have artillery already in this town, general in the town. Obviously, they have taken this town. Um, artillery is still trying to get rid of this 12-pounder. We do have skirmishers getting charged here by these heavies. Oh, no. They're going to get slowed down by this swamp. And they're going to slice and dice these skirms up. It's going to be a piece of cake to take out those skirms. France lost some Chasseur Cheval. Probably against the Austrian uh, Russian. Uh, now, this flank is concerning. There is a huge flank, um, and they just have Dragoons. They do have their Ladu, which are pushing out, but there's a huge flank here, a huge exposed open area that Russia, Russia, Austria could be pushing all the way down this road and then just pop in behind. That could be very bad. Now, this artillery, I don't know where they're firing. But here now is where France and Ru uh, no, Poland may start losing. Um, Poland has very small units. They are very good, but so is the UK. Um, but the UK have to take advantage of their really good shooting. Um, assault columns get really aggressive. The UK has to be aggressive. If they just start pushing up here, they will win. Um, now we do have some Chesser Cheval trying to go for the artillery here. See, they're just going to form a square. So, not a whole lot can happen. Even the LOC has been taken. So, France is going to have a tough time now on this flank. Um, the UK doing well to hold. Now, they have taken some losses right here. Where are their Highlanders? See, the UK keep falling back. That is their mistake. They need to stand and fight. Ignore taking a loss to you. You're going to start telling on this line if you just stand and fight. This building has fallen to the enemy. These troops can form squares, so... I don't know what these uh, troops are going... Oh, they're going in for a cab charge against Hussars. Dragoons against Hussars. Or maybe these are Chevaliers. But either way, they will do well until Poland goes in with the Olani and flanks them. So they probably are going to break them, yeah. Uh, but you can see France is going to fall back here. Austria and Russia. And possibly UK, Spain. Are right, gonna go for a huge play here, which means it is no. Oh, so UK Spain is right here. Oh, they actually managed to get a successful, Our men are running for not so successful cab charge off. Um, did not manage to uh, get that artillery though. So you can see France is starting to lose in this fight. Like I said, guys, it is the UK, and the UK will start out shooting you. Um, as France, you have to be aggressive with bayonet charges and coordinated infantry and cav fight if you want to lose. France cannot afford anymore in 9.0 to stand and shoot, um, unless you have a vast superiority, which they don't right now. <laughs> it's definitely a 2v2. And actually, <clears throat> this could be a very good push for, uh, um, or very good defense for France. There is a ditch, like a swamp, that they will be holding. Um, and Russia is going to be forced to either try to pack their men through this land bridge or advance through the morass. So this is very bad ground for uh, Russia. But you can see Russia is actually trying to sneak through, get a foothold here before France can really reform and uh, stop them. I don't know if it's going to work. But now we definitely have the fight raging all along here. France is in a pickle. They got artillery sitting on the flank. Looks like a six pounder or a nine pounder. That is going to start pounding away at the French, Polish line. French, French, po oh my, are they using canister? Our men are running for they're using canister on these poor Grenadier to give troops. Oh, we have more cab charging it. This is going to go disastrously. Or not. Oh, now they broke before they even made it. 
So you gotta push up some line infantry as well. I mean, honestly, the UK are not defending their guns as well, but they have infantry defending it, so I guess that could be the case. Russia is pushing up here. This could be where they destroy Russia. Possibly. I don't know. But we have Hussars now gonna charge that artillery piece. Uh, we have uh, some cavalry Hussars who are gonna counter counter charge here. Oh, you are friendly charging your own cab or infantry. They even hit their own square. That is very unfortunate. But they're going to charge in here and get met by some Kazakis. And a cab fight will rage here. Now, the Kazakis do not get a charge bonus off, but they have some reinforced in line infantry. So this could go very well um, for the coalition. But you see, the coalition is definitely shooting up the French. Over here, Russia seems to... Okay, so UK... For, uh, Spain. Man, there's so many factions I have to throw out here. Men is pushing. Running, Russia, though, is definitely losing. Um, they are trying to push up in one little area. They have gotten a foothold. They have skirms in a very good spot. They can start really pushing, getting a lot of pressure. Um, ooh, what is this? What unit is this? A Portuguese unit. Probably heavies. Save them. Don't charge them up here. You're actually... Uh, the thing is, France has so many squares. Uh, the Coalition should use their Cav as defensive, not attack. And I would like to see the Ledoux getting a little more aggressive here. For France, they should be sending some of their heavies over to support this fight. I mean, they need to get close. They need to get in here. They need to start making some plays. They have LOC advantage too. I don't know why they're attacking. Um, they have a lot of the LOCs. They just got to be defensive. Force the French, force the uh, coalition to come to you. Um, but you can hear the drums. France is about to get attacked on the flank by the UK Spain. They are strung out in a big line. They should be focusing right here and then have some troops right here. Uh, they have some troops staring down the center, which they don't need. <clears throat> France and Poland now falling back. They are just not going to do too well against the UK. These troops just going to outshoot them. And their artillery just super, super deadly. And unfortunately, their artillery is stuck way back here. Can't even fire unless they open up a gap in their lines. <clears throat> And look, we have Russians and Austrians pushing for this gap. So Russia is going to try to... Oh my goodness, here is the rest of the coalition. Uh, they're going to form square. Ledoux is going to get shot to pieces. This is the UK we're talking about here. They put them on the flank. So coalition playing very smart. And uh, they are going to have a dis disadvantage as they are in the swamp, which will affect their reloading inaccuracy or just their their uh, stamina but they have a very good flank here I as a coalition would focus on this little corner you look for those corners you start out shooting those corners and you will do well well hi bud yeah um so it looks like actually may have the UK ooh maybe a counter charge here with the cavalry Got some calf. Yeah, some cavalry here. Some hus no, these are like the blue horse. We got blue horse that are gonna charge in. Blue horse, yeah, it's blue horse. It's British. Um, they're gonna charge a square though, which squares are going to hold against that blue horse. Blue horse needs to fall back. Like I said, the UK are not um the coalition not using their cap as well. They're just hitting squares a lot. Um, but Poland actually looks like they are pulling some troops back. Maybe to use as a reserve as Russia is pushing in very aggressively on both sides, even forcing the Imperial Guard to kind of form a, a V. Oh, we have a huge cab engagement. Ledoux going in against some heavies of Spain and actually some breaking some dragoons of Spain. Uh, Spain going to send in some more of their cavalry here. Ledoux has excellent morale, but as you can see, they are starting to have some morale issues. 
and the counter in the, in the flank by these Hussars is really going to cause um, some losses, although maybe, maybe Ledu is still holding here. Um, but the infantry are ignoring that calf fight and just continually pushing. These troops should be pushing up here and getting on the flank. They're, they're wasting time sitting here. Ledu has been broken, sadly. He, they were all alone. And uh, now France is having a problem here as they are also getting charged by cavalry. I mean, these these are uh, Royal Guard and Carabineers, so they will do very well in melee against the Russian line infantry. Um, but still, they are getting pressured a lot. Even over here, we have a lot of Russians who did a charge in. Now they are being beaten back. But now we have Dragoons counter-charging these Russians who cannot form square, or not all of them can. We do have some Carassiers in the back who are probably going to charge in and try to uh, ease the tension on this side. Now we do have a lot of coalition pushing up here. Um, now falling back as uh, France is going to hold a defensive position here. In the center, they should be being very aggressive here. They're just contented to sit here. That is bad. You need to be aggressive and push with your ally here. Russia! Oh my goodness, Russia is getting totally smacked around. They are getting chopped to pieces. Their cav is trying to hold the side, but France is utilizing the close quarters with their elites to break Russia. Russia's had a huge rout. Um, they are pushing up here. They have won the flake, so still could go very well for them. Who do they have pushing up here? UK getting very aggressive on the flank. They can start getting out of this morass, this swamp, and just pushing up, really starting to punish this uh, line for standing in a line fight with them. Um, but with having some troops freed here, France is going to be able to counter flank um, the two flanks on both sides. You can see Ledoux, or no, not even Ledoux, this is the Lancers. They're going to go in, but these Russians are going to form a square. And, uh,. Yeah, <laughs> I think the UK are going to start. They're they're going to. It's going to suffer. This whole fight is going to suffer if UK don't keep being aggressive. You saw how well they were winning. So if they don't keep pushing, France is going to shift reinforcements over and help out on the sides. Russia was the weak spot in the center. Unfortunately, they just didn't have enough squares and they got too close here. They got burnt um, by the elite. Oh. Yeah, vive la France, right. But obviously my son is a very big French fan, so... <laughs> you can play France when we get old, when we get older. You can do a battle, you France. I am a coalition person. I like coalition, but... Uh, so Russia may have recovered a little bit. They still have their artillery up. Um, ooh, we have a huge rout. So, definitely the Spanish and UK having some problems. We have the UK. We still got that a nine pounder. A nine pounder cannon. It's a cannon. It's gonna help try to drive back the French. As the UK, they have a really solid army here, which they could push, but you can see that the Austrian Russians are losing. Ooh, France is pushing up here once more. Um, France gonna try to maybe make a, uh, another huge route here, but they're going up against a lot of really good units of the UK. And even a charge, a cab charge here by those heavies of Portugal. The man of the and France was unable to form square. I don't know why they're running. Oh, they broke. More and more cab going in here. France has really made that push through the center, as you can see here. Really smacked through the center. At the same time, they have port, um, some... Polish units that are going to try to push on this flank. Um, even some cavs charging in against uh, some of the heavies of Spain, breaking them. So they are starting to do well. Um, I don't really know where the coalition besides this flank. Things actually aren't looking All too well. The coalition. Running, oh my goodness. So this is how you have to deal with the, with the uh, coalition. Bayonet charges. Go in. Get in melee. Your troops usually will do pretty well. I think they're able to volley this French. What? You getting bored? Um, yeah, they're gonna probably start breaking the UK. And this cab is just gonna really help out here. So UK gonna start getting beaten back. Um, this battle is turning around. The one problem I foresee 
is that this UK army is not being aggressive enough. They're sitting back and being passed. Um, and France is now taking advantage of that and just encircling them. And pushing through here, using this uh, march to kind of uh, push out. Uh, Russia does have some troops left. You wanna go to mom? And, uh... Russia's gonna make a hold to the side of this, try to hold the center at least. Um, over here on this side. <laughs> Coalition definitely having some uh, some problems. Yeah, definitely having a pushback from France. France is holding beautifully now. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. I think that was the Russian general. Yeah, Russian general who dies. So Russia's gonna be more in shambles than before. Here we go. Here is a huge line. But here's the thing. France is being very smart. Notice how they are only shooting on this one side. This whole part of this line is being wasted. Put them on the flank, push the troops up to hold this Polish infantry, and then push on the flank. Right now you're in a huge line. You're gonna lose um, over time because your whole line isn't even engaged. Uh, France is being very smart about this, only engaging half of the UK line. Um, you don't need to stretch your line along a whole front. Um, and these guys aren't even firing. That's a waste of four units of really good UK troops. I don't know why they have a square here, but this is not smart. These Grenadier Cheval are gonna get shot to pieces if they try charging in here. Why would you charge a line that's just being stagnant? Oh, that's a waste. That is not, I mean, it could have gone worse for them, I guess. Over here, France is definitely starting to make some headway, but, I mean, look at this. Look at look at the Portuguese. Now, they have some uh, some Russian light infantry here on the side, but they are losing against the UK. UK just has such good firing. I know I keep gushing about how good their firing is, but you can see how well they've held, even with the huge break by their ally. And now Russia is even holding the center. Now... France does have a decent flank. They have four units. These guys are a little depleted, though. Um, but they are going to try to push in this flank. If I were the UK, I would fall back to the other side of this LOC. Let the LOC fight for you. Um, France is actually making a pretty good flank here. They have their elites. Get these Grens to get into melee. Like, keep pushing them around. Let these units keep pushing up so they can't really def shoot against these Grens. Get into melee, you have excellent stats. A lot of Grens even, so <clears throat> yes, they have good shooting stats, but they also have excellent morale in melee. You don't wanna be in a shooting match forever with such elites. France is starting to actually crumble here. This is concerning. Um, the counterattack has been counterattacked. And France may be getting a little too aggressive here. These guys are gonna get outshot. I mean, look how many troops are shooting at them. We have one, two, three. France doesn't need to be pushing here. They should be getting defensive still. Um, they still need to defend this LLC. They seem to be doing decently well on this front. Um, in fact, even the UK, sh like I said, they shouldn't be... Uh, they're getting 2v1 every time. Two units are shooting at well, one unit that's in between the buildings. Fall back to the other side of this LLC and let this LLC fight for you. You know? Let the LLC shoot them in the flank. If you fall back to here, they'll have to advance up to this LLC. And these guys basically are going to get free kills. Whoever's in this LLC. Russia is counterattacking here. Um, not a bad idea, but I would say it's a bad idea if your ally is not pushed up to match you. Um, Russia could be, should be a little cautious. Now I'm not saying they shouldn't, uh oh. Well, bye bye Russian artillery. <laughs> These Hussars are gonna get some easy kills. Wipe out this artillery piece. The coalition doesn't necessarily need it. Um, now, the Cav for Poland should be focusing on Russia. Russia doesn't have as much squareables. 
Um, they could do well. And also, this flank seems to be doing pretty well for France thus far. Um, look how well they're out shooting these units. They're going to break two of them at least. And they can start caving in on this town. And the left flank may be holding, but the right flank isn't. They're out shooting even the center here. So they just got to hold a little bit longer here. They just got to make a push because this other flank is not doing as well. You see Russia is even pushing out. And uh, France is having to reform. Thankfully they have like a lagoon. A little pond that they can... Uh, what is this artillery doing? That's my question. This horse artillery is kind of sat here this whole time. They could be helping a little bit with this fight. But they are going to have to fall back to the LOC. And if these guys aren't careful, they're going to have enemy troops in their back. Uh, France, you can see, is making a huge push. They broke two of those troops. The uh, Spanish in UK. So they're going to start caving in behind this right flank. Probably why the coalition keeps falling back now. This is going to go disastrously. Um, these Grenadiers... They're going to charge in here, but I don't think they're going to win. Maybe. Oh my goodness, they are caving the flank of the UK. The man of fatigue, they may sir, actually take this it. LLC, and that could be disastrous for this coalition. Right on this side, it would appear that they are just basically uh, <clears throat> falling back. Um, falling back towards this LOC. They have a 12 pander that soon will be able to give them assistance. On this side, we do have some uh, Grenadier Cheval in the back lines here. Even trying to take out the uh, UK general. I don't know why these guys are staying in a square. They don't need to keep squaring up. Keep standing and sh Oh, no, they're starting to lose. Okay, so France actually seems to be winning this side. So I think France could still win this. Um, they may lose a little bit on the left flank, but they, if they take this LOC and hold this LOC, they can win this. Um, they just got to hold just a little bit longer here. They have a general to inspire their troops. Actually, that's a general that was on this battlefield too. How historically accurate. The Polish basically just had some help for historical purposes. Russia ain't doing so hot in this, or the, you know, the Russian Grenadiers weren't doing so hot. There's 26 of them left. But France is caving in here on the flank of the UK. So UK looking, running, looking pretty shabby, unfortunately. And they aren't making an aggressive push. The UK seem to be contented to just sitting back. I'm not sure why. Um, they should keep pushing. You know... Russia is pushing on this side, which is why France probably is getting so aggressive. And with, uh, with only 16 minutes left in this uh, this uh, replay, someone has to make an LOC push. What's going on here? All right, so we have a bayonet charge against the square. Here, finally, France can show their medal. Um, Cav did break, but they are going to do very well in a melee. Uh, all out bayonet charge. What are they doing? Why would they even charge? I mean, I guess it's Highlanders. It is Highlanders, but all they are going to break time. so fast. I don't know why the UK are doing this. They should keep trying to shoot. Utilize your strength, not your weaknesses. <laughs> we finally have the UK once again pushing up. Um, Poland's gonna probably hold only for a little bit before they break. They have very weakened units. Um, oh my goodness, the coalition held this LOC. And with Austria and Russia pushing up, this is gonna turn into a terrible, terrible outcome for this uh, French army. Now they have a mass routed majority of the UK forces here. At what cost? You know, the ground is scattered with the dead. And France is starting to get outshot here, encircled by the, the Russians. Russia even pushing in towards this LOC. 
This is too close, guys, and there's 15 minutes remaining. Can they form square? No, they cannot. They did. Ah, but France is going to go in. Okay, this unit is supposed to need, to, they need to support each other in order to make this a successful fight. Oh, they did. Russia held. Our men are running, sir. But now the remainder of this Portuguese UK is going to hole up around the LOC. They have to hold this LOC until their reinforcements make their push. And as you can see, they are making that decisive push. The UK, even they even should be peeling over to help out on this fight. Um, but it's going to turn out to be Russia versus uh, France on this side. And uh, Poland and France versus Spain and the UK. What a what a intense battle, you know? What a, what a fight! Even in this morass, this is where the slaughter happened. UK took some heavy losses, but so did France. Our men are running, sir. And the muskets scattered everywhere. Okay, actually, Poland and France holding pretty well. We do have Russia though peeking in on the flank. So, uh, yeah. The Polish are going to have to shift over. Their troops are so weak. I mean, there's 23 men left in this unit. It's like 90% casualties. She's almost 80% casualties, which is terrible. Even 50% casualties would be awful. This, I don't think the coalition should be pushing on this. They should be falling back towards the LOC and trying to win an LOC victory. There's 12 minutes remaining. You know that it's going to come down to an LOC. Although there is nobody in this LOC. Um, and I think Russia realizes that. So far, it actually seems to be a coalition is holding the majority of the LOC. Now France is getting really aggressive here. Pushing in. Oh no, they have a flank. Some Austrians are flanking this French attack. Oh no, this is gonna be bad. We have taken the buildings up. Oh, which one did they take? Okay, so they did take one far in the back. And they're gonna hold here. I don't know why the coalition is trying to push them. They don't need to. They take this LSC, take this LSC, and they win. Um, and I think at this point it looks like the coalition possibly probably is going to win this. I think each one each LSC is one point. Russia could probably go up and take this LSC, and they have two points to the one of uh, France. Which is sad, because France made such a good push, especially on this flank. They just managed to just really turn the coalition around. And uh, if they get Grenadiers, they're going to... Okay, they're going to charge in here. They can still take this. They can still take this. But Russia is uh, going to continue to push here. Try to save the LOC over here on this side. The UK still out shooting France, guys. LA General has been slain. They are holding this LOC. Oh, they have Russians even. Some light infantry here. As well as some cab. Ulani still trying to hold. Uh, France is going to start losing. I'm concerned that they aren't going to be able to hold this LOC for 10 minutes. Um, on this side, Russia is here. They are here to reinforce. We got UK and Portuguese holding this, this building, but these elites will not be denied. Snapping necks. Oh, they're even sending in more uh, UK troops. Russia is up here. I don't. Yeah, France is not going to take this. Um, <clears throat> there's too many coalition around. Uh, they, of course, are... Oh, they're going over here, and so is Russia. So this could be it. Now, if these French Grenadiers just shoot a volley, they'll break these Russians. Their morale is so shaky right now. And they're the only coalition around, as far as I can tell. It won't matter, though, if the UK takes this LOC. Well, there's two of them over here, actually. France is going to send more of the line infantry in. It won't matter, though. France took it. How did they take it? The Grenadiers managed to expel the uh, 
coalition. Wow. They could still win this. Like, they legitimately could. Yes, yeah, see, they stopped and volleyed and those guys broke. Um, it will it will become a draw if the coalition can take these two LOCs. And there's one in the way back that they could go for. But, I mean, you have nine minutes remaining. This is light infantry, though, guys. That's the sad thing. This is light infantry. So it's not going to do too well in a line fight. Or in melee. And more reinforcements. This could turn out to be a draw. Um, if Brantz takes both these LOCs, now you can see that Austria is sending in their troops. Is there more LOCs over here? Oh, there's a two-pointer. Our men are running, sir. Well, these Chessers should know. You know. It should be very easy for the Chessers. Oh my goodness, they just got shot to pieces. Um, if these Chessers can go take that two-pointer, they can still win this. They have a one-pointer right here. They'll have another one-pointer right here. They can take the two-pointer and win. They have two points versus almost two points of the coalition. France is totally breaking Russia here, too. What a stand. They managed to hold. I'm glad they were able to because they made some good plays. So that'd be worthwhile to be able to take. Now you see the ch yep, Chessers and then some UK going to go for this two-pointer. It may be, that may be the final nail in the coffin. Yeah, they're going to have to, they're going to have to make some pushes for some other LLCs. Coalition will if they want to win. By LLC victory. fast forward here guys because this is just down to get to an LOC first um and France is going for that two pointer to seal the deal well, this is an intense battle definitely down to the time limit oh we even have a Russian general trying to get this LOC but the chess are going to get there first still an opportunity they took that too yeah Oh, they're going to go for the other one. So that'll be three to... Three to two. Or three to four. One, two, three, four. Can the UK do this? This building has fallen to the enemy. Oh, they took that fast. All right, here we go, guys. It's um, Chessers, a general... Actually, these Chessers, they should be charging in here. There we go. So this is what it's going to come down to, guys. This is the fight. And actually, it looks like the Chessers are holding beautifully. These guys should get a medal if they win this fight. Um, oh, they did. They won it. The UK are no more. And uh, this battle will be a coalition victory unless the coalition can get across this bridge and take this other one-pointer. Let me see here. Let's fast forward. Are they going to? Oh, come on. You guys have two minutes. You could, they could make it. They easily could make it. Um, with two minutes to go, the general could go into his LLC and take it. Oh, they're farming now. They're just slaughtering all the French. Wow. Yeah, they're going to go to this LLC, I think. And uh, take it, or either that, or maybe a gen doesn't count for an LOC. I don't know, but France, like, if the UK lose this because they didn't put their troops in the LOC, then you know, unless unless there's another two pointer around here, is one of these a two pointer? I see two over here. I don't see this being a two pointer. I don't see this. A this two -pointer. building has fallen to the enemy. Oh my goodness! It was a draw, truly a draw, as as far as I can tell. This is the two pointer, and then they have these two. Versus uh, one, two, three, four. Oh my goodness. As far as I can tell, this is a draw. Both sides had four points. So intense. Very hard fought, obviously. So um, this one, of course, was sent in by Crusader. Thank you for that. 
Um, playing as the uh, Rheinbund, Port you know, Port gosh, Polish. I hate how many factions are now thrown into one battle. It's so many. You have UK, Spain, UK, Portugal. You have Russia. You have Austria. You have Poland. You have France. You have Rheinbund. All in one battle. <laughs> How many factions can you fit in one battle? But you can see these Dragoons in, in London did very well for the uh, Polish. So, all right, that's about it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I really enjoy making these battles. They never get old. Each battle is different. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's a joy. So, uh, you guys, stay safe. Have a great rest of your day. And I will catch you all in another video.